All right, next question. Good morning, Ms. Hurd. Good morning. Your relationship with Mr. Depp began in October of 2011, right? That's correct. And you previously testified multiple times under oath that the first year of your relationship with Mr. Depp was the best of times, right, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. You testified that as far as you could tell, Mr. Depp was sober that first year. That is correct. That's what I used to believe. And that the first year was, quote, magic. Yes, I always uh, estimated it was about a year. But now you've told this jury that Mr. Depp was being violent with you throughout 2012, haven't you, Ms. Hurd? No, he took a break in the middle of 2012 when he was sober. You told them that he was hitting you in 2012, though. Is that right? He was hitting me in 2012. He just took a break in the middle. He was smashing things around you, right? He did. And you told them that Mr. Depp was in and out of sobriety in 2012. That is correct. You told this jury that in, two, quote, in 2012, I was in the beginning stages of this, just learning these patterns. I was learning that drinking kind of correlated with the violence, end quote. Is that right? That is correct. So it was during these cycles of violence in 2012 that you gave Mr. Depp a knife as a gift. I gave him a knife, um, I think for a birthday present early in our relationship, I believe it was around 2012, but I'm not certain. We've seen a picture of that knife, but I didn't think we should bring out the real thing. Master Deputy Halusa, Master Deputy Sheriff Halusa, may I please have you show the knife to Ms. Hurd? Yes, that's it. That's the knife you gave to the man who was hitting you, right, Ms. Hurd? I wasn't worried he was going to stab me with it when I gave it to him, that's for certain. But you gave it to him while he was abusing you, allegedly. I gave it to him that year. Master Deputy Sheriff Lusa, will you please show the knife to the jury? Thank you. This is the knife you gave to the man who would get drunk and violent with you, right? This is the same knife that I gave him as a present in 2012, yes. Now, Ms. Hurd, I'm going to need to talk to you about what happened in Australia in March of 2015. You've testified that at some point during the incident you described, you witnessed Mr. Depp bashing a phone against a wall, right? That is correct. You testified that the phone was breaking into pieces. I was watching it disappear. That Mr. Depp smashed it, I think your word was smithereens. Yes, that is correct. And according to your testimony, this was a wall-mounted phone in the bar area. That is correct. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1820. Miss, I believe this has already been admitted into evidence, so if we could have it published. Thank you. You saw this photo during your direct examination, right? That is correct. And you testified that the wall-mounted phone that you saw Mr. Depp smash is on the wall on the left. That's correct. So if you were looking at this picture, the wall-mounted the wall -mounted phone would have been behind you on the left-hand side of your shoulder. But it's not depicted, depicted in this photo, correct? Whoever took this photo was standing right in front of where that um, mounted phone was. That's convenient. Um, the pieces of the phone Mr. Depp smashed aren't in this picture either, right? You don't see it because it's whoever took this photo standing in front of that. Whoever took this photo, it's Mr. Ben King, correct? That's what I believe. Yeah. Mr. King testified under oath in this trial, right? That is correct. And he testified that there was no wall-mounted phone smashed to smithereens that he had to replace, correct? I didn't hear him testify to that, no. He did. Your counsel elicited it. 
I disagree with that representation. You also saw this picture. Actually, can we please bring up Defendant's Exhibit 1821, which is also admitted into evidence? You also saw this picture during your direct examination, correct? That is correct. And so this is the bar area to the right of the wall-mounted phone you just described. If you were facing in that direction, if you're facing this direction, it would be behind you. This phone on the counter isn't the phone that got smashed to Wall mounted. Yeah, so there are two phones in the bar area. There, there was a wall mounted phone. I don't know if it was decorative or what, but it was white, like it looked antique, large and antique. And, and what the large and antique one that's not depicted in any photograph, including ones you took, is the one that Mr. Depp damaged, correct? That is correct. I only took pictures of the mirrors. So there's no picture of that damaged phone? I didn't take a picture of it, no. Okay. So back to the phone smashing. You watched Mr. Depp smash the phone, right? That's correct. I watched it. And you testified that you were, quote, watching the phone every single time he pulled his hand back, end quote. That's correct. And according to you, this is when Mr. Depp lost the tip of his finger, right? It is my best guess. I didn't notice his finger come off, obviously. I was um, watching him smash the phone and watching the pieces break while he was doing it. Well, it's not your best guess, Ms. Heard. That is my best guess, yes. Okay, let's go back to my questions. You submitted a declaration under the penalty of perjury in this case. Do you remember that? That is correct. Okay, let's look at that declaration. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. If we could direct your attention, Ms. Heard, to the page uh, 14 of the declaration. Is that your signature? Yes, it is. And your signature appears right under the statement, quote, I declare under penalty of perjury, under the laws of the state of Virginia, that the foregoing is true and correct. That is correct. And this is dated April 10th, 2019. Correct. Now let's look at paragraph 16, which is on page five. Specifically line 10. Quote, you write, testify under oath, while he was smashing the phone, Johnny severely injured his finger, cutting off the top of it, end quote. Did I read that correctly? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you testified in this courtroom that after Mr. Depp smashed the phone, he held you down on the countertop by the neck. Do you remember that? I'm not quite sure of the exact sequence of things, but yes, both of those things happened. Okay. Well, we'll get to the sequence. And this is when Mr. Depp supposedly assaulted you with a bottle, right? On the countertop, he assaulted me. So Mr. Depp was able to get you on the counter, right? He held me down by my neck. And hold you down by your neck. That is correct. And he grabbed a bottle, according to you, while holding you down by the neck, correct? I'm sorry, can you clarify what you're asking me? While Mr. Depp is holding you by the neck against the countertop, he grabs a bottle. That's your testimony. No, those two things didn't happen at the exact same time, no. While he, so he's holding the bottle, is that your testimony? He While holding, holding you down neck. by the neck? Sorry, what was your question? Your testimony is, Ms. Heard, that either he has the bottle before or after he's holding you by the neck on the counter. Is that your testimony? He held me by the neck on the counter. Where's the bottle that he assaulted At what with? point? While holding you down by your neck. When he was assaulting me with the bottle, it was in his hand. Okay. Was it in his hand before or after he holds you down by your neck? 
I was being held down while he assaulted me with the bottle. When he puts you on the counter, does he have the bottle in his hand, yes or no? As I have always said, I don't remember exactly what happened first, or I don't remember the sequence. I just remember being aware that I was being assaulted by a bottle while I was on the countertop. So he penetrates you with this bottle. But you don't know how he got the bottle, right? That is correct. And he did that right after he lost the tip of his right middle finger. Again, I don't remember the exact sequence of those events. We'll get to the sequence. And while he was on eight to 10 MDMA peel, pills, right? Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about the sequence. This is the sequence of events you testified to in this courtroom. That he smashed the phone to smithereens and then assaulted you, lost the tip of his finger, and then assaulted you with a bottle. Yes, that's the sequence of events that you testified to in this to be, courtroom. To be clear, you're putting it in order when you say words like, then I have never claimed that I can remember the exact sequence of these things. This was a, a multi-day assault that took place over Three horrible days. Ms. Heard, the worst thing ever Ms. Heard, happened to me. I we're don't not remember Ms. Heard, the exact that's not my question. My question isn't about the three-day assault allegedly that occurred. I'm just talking about the sexual assault that you now allege occurred. Yes, okay? correct. Let's talk about the sequence. <laughs> so you testified. Actually, Do you have a copy? yeah, I know. I just realized that. Do you have a copy? We gave it to you yesterday. Court transcript. Yes. Ms. Heard, do you have a copy of day 16 in front of you? Uh, day 16? Yes, of court my deposition. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, of the court transcript from this trial. Oh, yes. I, I didn't realize that. This, yeah, okay. I do. Let's look at the transcript. So you testified on page, I'm getting there, 4506. 